So BYD just released that they want to upgrade their navigation or rather the autopilot system they use and they are planning to do that upgrade which would fit most of their car lineup including BYD Aero 3. Not sure if it would be applicable for the old and existing models at this stage but uh, let's see and hope there would be some benefits that even other uh, legacy owners like me myself would get it but uh, this is a concern for tesla to be honest because tesla's main selling point at this stage is not their brand value not their build quality but the autopilot system they offer Now let's look at what BYD and Tesla does have to offer and why Tesla might be and should be scared of the new developments of BYD. Looking at Tesla, we just have two cars, the Model Y as well as Model 3. Model X and Model S doesn't seem to be their priority as far as the production is concerned. And especially in Australia, because we don't have the Cybertruck and Roadster is obviously nowhere nearby production in any country. so we basically have just two cars from them whereas uh, byd does have their byd dolphin which is a small little hatchback their Aero 3 their c line 6 which is a phev their new shark 6 as well as their upcoming c line 7 and they do have different names in different uh, i think segments of the world but nonetheless they do have a very big portfolio of cars and that just begs the question how long will it take for them to actually get their system not equivalent to but close enough to Tesla that we prefer to drive a BYD? Because to be honest, one of the reasons for me to choose a Tesla over a BYD is only to do with the autopilot system. If my BYD was uh, driving equally better as the Tesla autopilot and I don't have to pay uh, that much attention while driving it on the autopilot system i would prefer to drive byd in most of the scenarios but does that mean we should all wait for the byd's new system to be released and trust that it's going to deliver on the promises that it's doing well to be honest it's not as simple because tesla has been promising for a long time that we would have the full self drive feature robo taxis and a lot more including model s and model x's deliveries for all the clients that they have ordered these cars and uh, if BYD were to maintain on or keep the promise that they are doing on delivering that particular piece of software hardware combination then definitely it would be something for us to consider while buying these cars because if we can wait for a car that does have a decent build quality a good brand reputation as far as the brand repo in today's world goes in February of 2025 because Tesla seems to have a bit of a downfall as far as the brand reputation is concerned but uh, nonetheless BYD is doing as they were they're just keeping a consistent build quality a decent service and to be honest in Australia we haven't seen many of the concerns that we had like the service would be bad or in fact the way they initially uh, decided to do their car servicing system it's even ironed out now because BYD does have more than enough I would say service centers now where they are providing those uh, services which just builds on the reputation of the brand and it seems that the BYD as, as car as a brand is there to stay especially in Australia I'm sure it's similar in the rest of the world as well but over here, the reparations increased quite a lot. The trust on the brand's been um, quite phenomenal. And to be honest, the only thing that differentiated a BYD car from a Tesla was those two things. One, the brand reputation, and the other thing was the autopilot system. But if BYD can even come 90 or 95% close to the Tesla autopilot system, then we are definitely in for a big surprise. Because to be honest, that's gonna change the entire game. Well, if you ask me, would I wait for the BYD to deliver on this promise of getting their uh, navigation 
or autopilot sorted or would I rather just go ahead and buy a Tesla now? Well, that's a tough decision nonetheless, because if you go with a Tesla, you can buy the Model Y, which is just released. It's a fantastic car. And I do love the aesthetics of it. It's not just that uh, the brand reputation or the brand value for the autopilot. I do genuinely like the look of the Teslas, especially the Model 3 Highland. And it does give you a minimalist vibe, which if you like, it could be a great thing. But if you're more into the generic or uh, let's say conventional design of a car, BYD cars are really good value for the money and the interior design of the BYD cars is not, not a uh, thing to mess with because they are fantastic, they are built well. Because even with my BYD Auto 3, I was sort of pleasantly surprised with how well I adjusted to the interior. And now it's just a, another thing about a car which I like it's it's not something which is bothering me and uh, the interior of Edo 3 is one of the most unconventional ones amongst all the different things that BYD is offering well something's happening in the city today not sure what this is about but uh, seems like there's an event going on well yeah as I was saying Bivari, if it delivers on the promises of a better autopilot system, could be a big game changer when it comes to the overall value that you can get in a car. And if you're not into buying electric, that's fine because BYD, I think C Line 6, so Shark does have that PHEV that is provided in most of the parts of the world now. And uh, they were either way good value. And not everyone inclined to drive their cars on autopilot. That's another thing because I prefer to drive my Tesla on autopilot, but I've had chat with a lot of people who just don't trust the system enough or they haven't had those experiences where they find it to drive better than what you usually would. So let me know about your thoughts on the new Goats by software hardware combination that BYD is gonna release. Is that something which would change your decision of buying a BYD? So yeah, let me know if you like this sort of content where I'm not sitting in a studio or with my cars. And which one would you buy if you were to choose among two cars brand, which is a Tesla? Well, my bias would still be towards a Tesla, to be honest, because maybe it's just that it was my first car that I bought. Or just the, I think, overall trust that I have on the autopilot system.